several different um, menus. We've got the program menu, the video menu, the music menu, the picture menu, and the weather menu, which you won't have this connected to the internet, so it won't matter. But as you can see, if you ever want to check the weather, you can check the weather by clicking on that. Um, you can see your weather in Charlotte, right? And uh, if you push over, see how that pushes over to from the left hand side where it says refresh to the Charlotte, North Carolina. You can also see what it's like in Birmingham, Alabama, and also Stafford, Virginia. Um, I've, if you notice in the background, there's kind of a change in pictures in the background, which is kind of cool. Go up to your pictures here, and we're going to click on that first. And you'll notice that you've got DVD drive. Um, you might not be able to use this because you've got an older drive, which is called the Philips drive, and it doesn't have the same um, capabilities as the newer Samsung drives had, uh, which means that you could put pictures on a disc, you put the disc in there, and you could have either looked at the pictures or you could have copied them over to your hard drive. I'll show you that in a, in a later tutorial. We're just kind of going through the basics. Here over here, I've got this nice little icon that looks like a picture or like a camera. It says HD picture, so we're going to click on that. You don't have to worry about these over here right now. You probably won't use them, but I want to keep them there just in case you know you guys become more advanced users and, and want to look at into you know networking, etc. And I can help you with that later. Um, so I'm leaving them there, but you just have to use this one right here with the special icon. Click on that, and you'll see in a couple seconds. There we go. So it says Fort Wayne. And you just click on there. You can click on whatever picture you want, and it'll it'll show, right? Um, I'll talk about the controls in a second. I'm just kind of showing you the basics. Um, and then, if you want to, you can actually do a slideshow. If you go over here to the left and go down to slideshow, you can just do slideshow like that, and it'll do a nice little slideshow. And you can also change settings in that. Um, you know, for 10 seconds in between or three seconds in between to the settings menu, um, which I'll show you a little bit later. Those are some great pictures of me. Anyways, uh, so there's the basics of the picture area. In the music area, I've got some music. Once again, same kind of gig. I'm actually going to add one more. I've got some David Cross I want to put on here so you guys can listen to some good comedy, but this is HDD music, and you'll notice the icon is very different than the other icons. Again, you've got some other options here. You don't need to use those. If you do get con uh, connected to the internet, Shoutcast, I think it still works, um, is a cool system. Actually, let's just try it out real quick, just so you can kind of get an idea what it is. No, it doesn't work. I, I remember them saying that, it, I remember reading something that doesn't say it works. Um, you can get into it through Navi, but anyways. Uh, HDD music is the only thing you need to go to. Click on that, and as you can see, you got some nice albums here, some Metallica, some Tori Amos, and did I put the Beastie Boys on there yet? Not yet, but I've got some Beastie Boys coming for you too. Um, for this, uh, you just press the green button, which is A. Let's say you want to listen to uh, Boys for Pele, so you press A, and it would go inside. So let's go ahead and do this, and then it's going to play. It should play. Oh, do I have the... I don't have the um, sound on. Turn the sound on for you. Or maybe not. Wait a second. Oh. Huh. Inter oh, because I'm in the M3U. So once again, I'm going to take these out. That's what the problem is. Um, but you just go to the actual song, number one here and you play it. And you notice you have a nice little icon in the left hand corner that'll tell you what album it is and, and I put some pictures in here so you can see the picture from the actual album and then you can press B and go back to the other albums and if you want to you can search or you can press B again and B again or and notice you know you got a nice little little thing if you press X if you just pressed X immediately it goes to a nice little little uh, music thing, right? And then if you press the white button, it'll take that piece of information off. And if you press the white button again, it'll put it back on, tell you what you're listening to, which is kind of cool when you got it on random in a lot of albums. 
You can also press the start button here, and the start button will bring up a menu. This is a pretty basic menu, and you can fast forward to the next song. Your music. Turn that off. Anytime you want to turn it off totally, press B, and it'll just go back to the main menu. Okay. Next, we've got videos. In the videos section, I've got HD movies. I've got HD music videos. So if you want to download some movie uh, music videos, some Toy Amos or anything, you can put it on HD videos or any kind of home videos. You'll notice there's nothing in there now, so it says it's nothing. It says you know invalid. You do have some TV shows. The TV shows that I put on here are Arrested Development. Um, season one's a little shady. There's a couple shady ones in there, but I put some nice little self-made icons which you can do too you can just do a screenshot and put icons on there so you can kind of remember I didn't do these last ones obviously but I'm still working on that and then here's a the rest of it and if it doesn't then it'll put up regular icons like this that I had to get download from the internet too you've also got P90X on here so all the P90X's are here and you've got, um, this is, the, I don't know why this came up with it, so I just thought that was funny to dig deeper and, anyways, whatever. This is just the insane the intro, which you'll never watch anyways. And this is the fit test, cardio circuit, etc. So here's your Sean T. These two I couldn't find icons for, so I put a picture of Sean T and some other girl that came randomly up when that came up. Um, so those are your TV shows under HD movies. You've got all of these. We've all got nice little pictures here. You can press the white button. Let's say we don't want to. We don't really care about Home Alone. Let's say Madagascar. You press the white button, and then you go to movie information. It'll give you a little synopsis of what's going on with the, the people. It might talk about the the people who are in it, but um, anyways, and then you can play from here. You can also look at trailers and stuff if you're on the internet, but you're not, so you'll just be kind of using it from here. So anyways, these are your, your movies. Next we've got programs. Programs, you shouldn't have to use apps too often, um, but there is an icon there if you want to. There's some apps. You do not need to use this, this, or this, or this. These four right here I would just not touch. You might need to use this if your DVD is not playing or something. You might need to use this, and this is called the dongle free. It doesn't matter. It's just um, without the remote control, so you'd use the controller with it. And then DVD to Xbox. If you have an Xbox game at home or you find one at the Salvation Army or something and you want to buy it and put it on the hard drive, you can use this file. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. The other thing you have is emulators. And here's your emulator pack. Here's your Nintendo. So we go here, you got two different ones, they both do the same thing. Um, some of them, I guess there's some compatibility issues or maybe just personal choice. There you go, you press B, which is the red button to get out of that. And you have a little guitar music, select game, and you got all these little games. So you can use the bottom two triggers, let's see if I can show you. These bottom two triggers will go fast up and fast down, as you can see. Okay, up and down and of course we're gonna go all the way down to M because who wouldn't want to play the best game in the world oh no I'm sorry super so we're going all the way down to Super Mario come back up there we go we got one two and three right here your choice nice little movies with each one right I don't know which one do I choose I'm gonna choose this one I'm gonna do the, that one and then you just press B and it'll load B so you got this, and it's not really responding to more than one player. Uh-oh. Oh, press start. No? Oh, I don't know, man. Anyways, hopefully they can get... So, same kind of gig. I think you press A for jump, and then it depends on the different controls. X goes fast, which is your blue. To get out of this, you press the trigger button, which is right here, the right trigger button, like that. And you have a couple options. It says return to game, exit game, configure. You don't have to worry about that too often. And we'll exit back to the thing. And that's it. That's your, So that's Nintendo. And then when you want to get back, return to launch. I'll configure that so there's no music. I hate that music. Do you really want to quit? Yes. Finally, uh, you've got the Xbox games, and that's right here. 
you just go here um, and you've got a bunch of choices you'll notice these little little um, little things right here these are for trainers some of them have them some of them don't you would press the white button and then go to um, trainer settings and you can choose between all these you know infinite health infinite ammo so for all these games they have this cool little thing where you you know you can you can kind of mess around with the you know cheat basically so you go to infinite he health and then from now on and then I just do okay and now you'll see there's gonna be a, the yellow now it has a little yellow sign there saying that you're using a, a cheat so you can also, if you're online, update the trainer list, which I'm going to do right now, actually. So I'll make sure all the um, trainers are there. And, uh, yeah, so that's it for that.